sir. Leave me. Uh, where were you? Uh, uh, I, was, I was around it uh, in Pumalanga, sir. Because remember that uh, Satan wants to use, he want to use someone to stop you. Amen. And um, if you don't become very serious, you will be nothing. It's a yep. plan of the enemy against you. Yes. Already, already there's nothing even now. Uh, there, was, there was a transition in my life. I had to change jobs. So it took months to adjust, and I was we moved to a new place, and financially it was tough. Okay, yeah. So financially, it was not. Uh, we couldn't travel, but we were trying to build our home. If you stay close to the fire, always you become warm, and if you carry on, you end up feeling fire. But now, if you feel fire, you go and swim. You lose everything. Now, the issue of your job, what? It's just there also to delay what God wants to do with you. Amen. So you must mind about your calling. What is important now is your calling. Amen. Yeah, not to make money. Not to make money. People can make money and end up in zero. Amen. You understand? Amen. So I'm worried because even your prayer life went down. Mm. Amen. So God loves you. In Jesus' name. You're, you're free. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The word of prophecy that I received today was the man of God asked me where I've been and um, because there are people where I am that are assigned to block me and for me to not do what God wants me to do. And I explained to him that uh, I've been between jobs and then I finally got the job, but it's been demanding me f to work weekends and stuff and so forth. But then he said, uh, I should be mindful of that. Uh, and then he prophesied, he said, uh, I shouldn't worry about making money, making money, and, and I become a zero in terms of what God wa wa wants me to do. Yeah, so I, I can confirm that. Uh, uh, I've been concerned about you know, m building my, my own home with my wife now and slacked a bit. Uh, we haven't been coming to church since, I think, April. So, yes, um, it was difficult. But now I believe with the men of God having spoken to me that everything is going to go back to normal. And uh, from now, we're going to make sure that we make time to get here. Because, yeah, he said uh, you can make money and actually become a zero at the end. So, yes. Uh, yes, that's the prophecy and I confirm it to be true. It was just me coming here to sit down so that it can give birth to the ministry. So it has a, f a delayed that process in terms of the ministry actually having to start. Yes, so I believe if I was coming, then I would have been far with that journey than what I am now. Yes. And spiritually, how did it affect you personally? It's true. What he said, he said it's affecting my prayer life and I, you know, confirm it to be true because um, it went down. Uh, this just this week, I was really thinking deeply about it and wanting to go back to it, you know, because everything that I, 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 I have is through prayer. And when you stop prayer, when the devil attacks the prayer, then I, I am zero actually. So yeah, I, I confirm that to be true as well because my prayer life has gone down. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm not as prayerful as I used to be. Yes. And today God intervened in your challenges and what you were going through. How, how, how do you feel that the man of God today spoke to you and told you what was happening? I'm, I'm blessed. I mean, there's so many people here. And I mean, he spoke to me. And um, I believe that because he spoke to me and because he touched me, prayed for me, I'm delivered. And everything that I've been experiencing, all the problems that I've been experiencing are gone. And that there's a change that is looming. And yes, uh, I believe everything has turned around.